we discuss matrices the elements are arranged horizontally and vertically the type of arrangement is called a matrix the number of elements horizontally that is called row in each row are equal the number of the number of elements in vertical line that is called column are equal now here let us take one matrix for example a generally matrices are denoted by capital letters a 1 2 3 3 minus 1 4 it contains two rows and three columns horizontal lines are called rows vertical lines are called columns in each row number of elements are three that is equal to number of columns each row contains three elements each column contains equal number of elements two it contains two rows and three columns that's why its size is 2 into 3 that is read as 2 by 3 now in general the matrix if m n elements are arranged in rows and columns that is equal to a equal to a11 a12 a13 and so on a1n next a21 a22 and so on a23 and so on a2n and so on ai1 ai2 and so on ai2 ai3 and so on ain a m1 a m2 a m3 and so on a m n it contains m rows 1 2 3 i and so on m m rows columns 1 to second elements columns 1 2 3 and so on n so its size is m by m generally it is denoted by a equal to in a short way a i j m by n here i the first elements the first element the first suffix varies from 1 to m 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to m j varies from 1 to n 1 less than or equal to j less than or equal to m the total number of elements are mn mn elements are arranged in this way this type of arrangement is called a matrix the rows are counted from top to bottom the columns are counted from left to right now we discuss different types of matrices generally the matrices denoted by a i j m by n simply a i j m by n for example the suffix the suffix a 2 2 that means second row second element a 2 3 second row third element a 3 4 third row fourth element or third row fourth column a 2 3 second row third column like that now we discuss the different types of matrices different types of matrices now we discuss that first one square matrix first one square matrix let a b a matrix a by a equal to a j m by n b a matrix m equal to n then that is called square matrix square matrix m not equal to n that is called rectangular matrix rectangular matrix now here the number of rows and columns are equal square matrix rows not equal to columns 
that is called rectangular matrix third one third one that is row matrix that means if m equal to 1 implies row matrix row matrix that example row matrix 1 3 7 5 that is first row one row five columns four columns one row four columns that size is 1 by 4 first row only one row columns are four so that size is 1 by 5 next n equal to 1 implies column matrix that is called column matrix that is like this one example one two minus one the number of rows are three columns one three by one that is three by one if all the elements in a matrix are zeros that is called null matrix or zero matrix null matrix or zero matrix for example 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 3 rows 3 columns all the elements are zeros that is denoted by o that is denoted by o particularly o 3 by 3 that means the size is also mentioned that o or o 3 by 3 next sixth one in a square matrix, in a square matrix, the first element and the last element join. That is called the principal diagonal. For example, in this square matrix, it is principal diagonal. Let us take one square matrix, 3 by 3, 1 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, minus 5, 6, 8. The line joining, first element of first row and the last element of last row. That is called the principal diagonal or diagonal. That is called principal diagonal. Next one. The sum of all the elements in principal diagonal is called trace of the matrix denoted by tray A. Tray A. For example, the trace of that matrix, the above example is 1 plus 4 plus 8, that is nothing but 13. Trace of A, the sum of all the elements in diagonal, that is called trace of A. Next one. Some properties not from this. Trace A plus B equal to trace A plus trace B. Trace A plus trace B. If minus also there, minus also. Next, trace AB equal to trace BA. Product of two matrices, this trace BA. Actually, AB not equal to BA, but trace AB equal to trace BA. Next, trace some lambda into A that equal to lambda into trace A. Trace A. Lambda is a constant. For example, A is this. 3, tra three A, trace 3A equal to 3 into trace A. 7 A, trace 7 A equal to 7 into trace A, like that. Now here, next one, eighth matrix, eighth one, that is diagonal matrix. If all the elements in a square matrix are zeros except diagonal, then that matrix is called diagonal matrix. For example, one zero zero, zero five zero. 0, 0, minus 7. All the elements are zeros except to diagonal. That is called diagonal matrix. This is simply denoted by diagonal 1, 5, minus 7. That is denoted by 1, 5, minus 7. Diagonal. Diag that is called diagonal matrix. Next. In a diagonal matrix, if all the elements in the diagonals are equal, if all the elements in diagonal are equal, then that is called scalar matrix. For example, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3. This is called scalar matrix. Scalar matrix. Next one. 
Right. If all the elements in the principal diagonal are equal to 1, that means 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, that is called unit matrix or identity matrix. Unit or identity. Identity. That is denoted by I or I3. I or I3. Now here, diagonal matrix, scalar matrix, unit matrix. Every unit matrix is a scalar matrix. Every scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix, but not commerce. That means diagonal matrix is not scalar. Scalar matrix is not identity matrix. Okay, now here. Yeah. Next. 11. Point number 11. That is, now we are, now we are discussing, that is, upper triangular matrix. That means, if all the elements below the principal diagonal are zeros, that is called upper triangular matrix. For example, 1, 2, 3, 0, 5, 0, 5, 7, 0, 0, minus 8. This is called upper triangular matrix. Actually, there is another method that is upper triangular matrix UTM, upper triangular matrix. If Aij is a square matrix of order m by n, m by n, this element is a11, a12, a23, a24, a21, a22, that means a, a i j equal to 0 for every i greater than j i greater than j then that matrix is called upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix a i j equal to 0 for every i less than j for example if you take 3 by 3 matrix a equal to 3 by 3 that is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a two three, a three one, a three two, a three three. Look here. This is lower triangular. The definition is a i j equal to i less than j. i less than j. Look here. The suffixes here one two. This must be zero. Next one three one less than three. This is zero. a two three. This is zero. Two less than three. These three elements must be zero. Then that is called lower triangular matrix. This is called upper triangular matrix. That means upper elements and diagonal elements are there. Down elements are zeros. That is upper triangular. Up elements are zeros. That is lower triangular matrix. Example that is. Example lower triangular matrix. So example that means upper elements are zeros. That is 7, 0, 0. Minus 6. 5, 0, 3, 1, 2. Upper elements are 0. This is called lower triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix A, J, 0, I greater than 0. I greater than J. Down elements 0. Like that. Now we are 13. Triangular matrix. If the matrix is either upper triangular matrix or lower triangular matrix, then that matrix is called triangular matrix. UTM or LTM, lower triangular matrix, upper triangular. That is called triangular matrix. Triangular matrix. These two examples are triangular matrix. If a matrix is both upper and lower triangular matrix, then that matrix is diagonal matrix. Let us observe diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. So 7, 0, 0, 0. Minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 8. It is lower triangular matrix as well as upper triangular matrix. The condition is all the elements above the diagonal are zeros. Down elements not necessary, not equal to 0. Keep in your mind. So it is lower triangular matrix as well as upper triangular matrix. If a matrix is lower and upper triangular matrix, that must be a diagonal matrix.
types of matrices over now we are going to the addition of matrices difference of matrices equality of matrices scalar multiplication the properties of addition and difference these we discuss now here scalar multiplication for example a equal to 3 minus 1 2 5 2 a that is equal to a. how to multiply each and every element with 2 that is 6 minus 2 4 10 that is called scalar multiplication scalar multiplication next one equality of two matrices for example x y z t equal to a b c d equality x equal to a y equal to b z equal to c t equal to d that means the corresponding elements are equal then the two matrices are equal now here addition of matrices a and b are two matrices of the same order then their addition is possible then their addition is confirmed as well as a and b are of same order then their difference is also confirmed if different order matrices addition not possible difference not possible the corresponding elements addition for example a equal to 7 3 1 5 b equal to 1 minus 1 2 3 a plus b addition a plus b equal to corresponding elements addition 7 plus 1 8 2 3 minus 1 3 8 corresponding elements a minus b is difference of the elements 6 4 next minus 1 2 this is called addition and difference of corresponding elements addition corresponding elements difference addition and difference the, con the condition is same order matrices if different order does not possible addition and difference now properties of addition first one addition is associative that means a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c that is addition is associative next commutative a plus b equal to b plus a next additive inverse b is called additive inverse of a then a plus b equal to 0 then b equal to minus a if a matrix is given the addition the additive inverse that means just sign change for example a is this additive inverse of a is minus 7 minus 3 minus 1 minus 5 just sign change the elements that is called the additive inverse b is called the additive inverse of a then a plus b equal to 0 as well as additive identity is 0 that means a plus 0 equal to 0 plus a equal to a then here 0 element 0 matrix is called additive identity next difference a minus b not equal to b minus a generally distributive lambda into a plus b equal to lambda a scalar multiplication is distributive lambda a plus a, lambda b if minus is there minus these are the properties of addition and difference addition and difference this is part one of matrices in the next video we discuss matrix multiplication as well as the transpose of a matrix the properties of matrices some more types of matrices are there based on multiplication okay